Hey you guys, today I'll be doing a comparison featuring these two items from Gucci. One being the Gucci Marmont 2.0 coin purse and the other being the Gucci Dionysus coin purse. Although both of these items are considered coin purses, you really could use it as card cases, mini bags, micro bags, whatever you want. I love how they took the idea of creating a micro-sized version of their uh, two most popular uh, types of purses, which is the Dionysus line and the Marmont line, and created these two babies. I just want to point out that at the time of when I bought these, which was around Christmas time 2019, these two items were in abundance. However, now um, it's May 2020 and it's really hard to find these two pieces. It's actually sold out in many places like Saks. You can't even find, I don't even think you can find this uh, Marmont purse on the Gucci website. Uh, I can't find it on Neiman Marcus. It's, it's really hard. I think the last time I saw this on sale was through Fashion File, and I think that might be one of the only places you could get it. That or Farfetched. Additionally, how I also know that these uh, two coin purses are growing in popularity is because um, in my unboxing videos for each of these items, these are the two most watched videos on my channel. and. I, I wouldn't have expected so many of you guys to be interested in um, these two purses, but I can understand. I definitely can understand it. So first, I wanna talk a little bit about this one, which again is the Gigi Marmont Super Mini Coin Case. Um, it comes in four colors. It comes in Porcelain Rose, which is this shade, Mystic White, Hibiscus Red, and black and I also want to talk about how this is literally the micro version of the original Gigi Marmont bag they went as far as to incorporate their infamous uh, heart on the back which is uh, a common feature of all the purses in this line from the super mini all the way up to uh, the largest size. So the width of this purse is 4.1, the height is three inches, and the depth is supposed to be one inch. It is made out of leather and this is made in Italy. This specific coin purse comes with an antique gold hardware on this chain and also on the logo. And it also comes with a, a snap closure as well as a removable chain. As you can see, I have yet to use this purse. Unfortunately, COVID has ruined everything for everybody. But hopefully as things slowly starts opening up and we're allowed to go to more places, I will be able to utilize um, this cute coin purse. Side is just one big pocket. This is their authenticity um, number. You can see the logo made in Italy. And this is their microfiber lining. Also, this bag retails for $530. If you're able to find it online, it should be around that mark. Uh, I would expect because of its popularity, you might find it on reselling sites for a little bit higher. And now I will be discussing the Dionysus coin purse, which was released for the pre-fall 2019 collection. And this looked like the exact macro version of the Dionysus purses. However, it does not come with the flap that the larger purses have. If anything, I would compare it to the wallet on chain versions, which also does not have the um, inside flap. Now the shade of this is the beige ebony Gigi Supreme print. It does come in other leathers and other colors. 
uh, which is a little bit more expensive than this one. This one retails for, I believe, uh, $450, which is about an $80 difference from this one right here. So on the website, this hardware is palladium toned hardware. And I appreciate how this is a silver toned hardware and this is a gold toned hardware. So I kind of have uh, best of both worlds with their hardware. Believe it or not, these have the same exact uh, measurements as this. This has the four inch width with the three inch height and the one inch depth. And again, this is where the authenticity numbers are. This comes with two compartments, which is why I would consider this more of a card case than a coin, uh, coin case. And it also has a detachable strap. No pockets on the back at all. And these are the only two pockets that I have. And according to the website, this lining is called the Mori or Moire lining. And it looks very spacious. And although it's very spacious, I will say that this is a very structured uh, coin case compared to this. This is very soft. This is very supple, but this one is uh, structured. Also, um, it's a lot more harder to um, open and close the uh, case compared to this, which feels a little bit more like a, a magnetic closure than this. This one, you actually have to put some force to close. I also want to compare how spacious each of these items are just to give you a good idea okay so because i intend to use these two coin cases as mini purses i do have an assortment of items that i think will be appropriate to carry in these um these uh pouches um i have like six dollars worth of cash i have coins i have uh medicine this can also be um represented as like a, a small thing of gum i have loyalty cards that we're going to act as if they're ids and credit cards I have um, hand sanitizing pouches, which these days are so crucial. I have a small tube of uh, lotion. I have a small tube of lip gloss. I have a small tube of perfume. I have another thing of chapstick. I have a hair tie. I have a bobby pin. I have my AirPods. I have my keys. I have my headphones and charger, and we're going to see what fits in there and what doesn't fit, um, and which will probably fit your lifestyle a little bit more. Okay, so let's say you're going out on a night out in town, and you really want to carry the barest of bare minimum, so I would assume you will be carrying something like this Dionysus coin purse. So, of course, you can never go wrong with carrying cash. It's always good and important to carry cash. So that'll be the first thing to pack in. And already the cash is taking up the space. Um, maybe you live in a metropolitan area, like you live in New York, and you need to carry um, tokens or coins when you're taking the metro. So I'll put a couple coins in here. Um, you can't leave without your gum. So I would say carry your gum or if this is your medicine, if you get headaches or something, or if you have... A, a little bit too much to drink you have your emergency headache um your emergency pills and you put that in there 
hand sanitizer and wipes. So I'll probably carry like two of these because, you know, maybe you're in a place where you don't feel comfortable touching the surfaces. You put that in there. And this, these cards are going to represent uh, like your driver's license, your uh, credit cards, your Metro cards, whatever. You can put this in this compartment or actually you can put it here. So again, so you have your cards, you have your gum or your medicine, you have your Purell right, uh, your, your hand sanitizer, and you have your cash. Of course, you can't go without your handy dandy lip gloss. And I love Sephora and their samples. Never, never not take advantage of getting samples from any beauty site that you go on. So this will be like your lip gloss right here. Um, This is optional, but because we already taken a lot of space, I probably might skip out on getting or bringing this, uh, this mini lotion. But your perfume, because you gotta smell good, can go in here. Hair tie, because one of your girlfriends are always gonna probably try to ask you for a hair tie for whatever reason, you can put that in here. Same with bobby pin right here. So this is what we have going on so far. Now keys. Now, if you are the driver, you're definitely gonna need your car keys. However, if you're just the, uh, the girlfriend that's going shotgun, you can just carry your uh, house keys. So let's see if it can fit. Oh, okay, it can fit. Now let's see if we can close it. Uh, I don't know. It's a lot of straining. Yeah. Now, however, if you have a like a a little clip that you can attach to your keys, maybe you can attach it to this hook right here, or you can attach it to the actual uh, chain. But without my keys in here, it fits. Now it fits ugly, but it fits nonetheless. If it doesn't bother you, you can get away with going out like this. You can attach your keys somewhere, you know, somewhere on this uh, hand strap right here. But yeah, I think this will be the perfect amount of fitting your bare necessities and your essentials. Um, I also want to see maybe if you bring your charging cord because I hate having my phone die. Let's see if you can get away with uh, packing in your little charging cord and praying and hoping that um, somebody has a, a, a wall piece in order to connect it to. Yep. It's ugly. <laughs> It's ugly and it's stretching it out, but it fits, it works. You got your bare necessities. Um, this is perfect for going out on a date. This is perfect for um, running down the store really quick and all you need is, you know, your little essentials. But this is what fits. I'm gonna continue to play around. Let's say if you're running down to the grocery store and you just need to um, take a couple things we can go without the lip gloss or and we can opt for a chapstick <laughs> you need your cash your driver's license your your and your and your credit card or maybe a metro card so let's just bring like three cards with us right here Maybe a little lotion, hand sanitizer and wipes go right here, gum. And let's see if it can fit. 
eh, nope, it cannot fit. Maybe if I take this out. Nope. So this right here might be a little bit too big. But let's see how just adding this lotion fits. Yeah, it fits. It fits. Or if you have a really small tube of like a, a lip product, you can just throw it in here and then you can close it or whatever. Curious to know if the uh, good old AirPods, and this is the AirPods Pro. Let's see if it can fit in here. How comfortable can we make it? And let's uh, try to put, uh, this is three cards in here. Maybe uh, some cash. And it, it, it fits, it fits, but it's warping the uh, coin case. It's warping it. And again, it's up to you whether or not you want to take that risk and possibly stretch it out. Taking that out. Let me put in my keys. I think it might be better to put the less bulky items in the back and the bulkier items in the front. Oh, it fits. Now this is what I call bear. Um, again, it has the cash, it has your cards, it has your car keys. That's all you need. That's what I call a real get up and go, gotta make a store run type of uh, essentials so you do not carry airpods this is how regular headphones these are the original apple airpods earpods sorry the original apple earpods this is how it looks with it in here cash again you got your cards mini lip gloss maybe keys Probably now. It only work if you are only carrying like your house keys and not your car keys, especially if you have a large key fob. Uh, perfume coins. <laughs> I'm just jump dumping things in here. Bobby pins. And yeah. And it, this side is a little bit more warped. But that's the thing with uh, carrying uh, structured bags of any kind. You kind of have to learn how to play Tetris in order for things to fit. And if you have seen my last video uh, where I did the unboxing, I did suggest that if you wanted to make this into an actual handbag, like a crossbody bag, you can simply take out the chains. I took out the chains. You can see if you can try to uh, find a small lobster claw or um, a D-ring type of claw uh, clip where you can attach a longer strap and carry it as a handbag. Which I've done before going to an event. I did carry this as a mini clutch and I carried my barest of essentials. Or you can use this as a mini wallet. This is a really great mini wallet. It's a no-brainer <laughs> um, to use this as a mini wallet where you can just carry your coins and your cash and, you know, as much cards as you would like, you know. And, you know, turn it into a, a straight-up wallet and you can just go. 
this is cash, coins, cards, uh, the hand sanitizer wipes, your pills or your gum. And here you go. <laughs> this is your mini wallet. And unfortunately, I do not know how long this chain is, but it's not that long at all. <laughs> it's just enough to carry uh, your 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 pouches, your bags as a, a wristlet. Okay, so now that we got the Dionysus coin case out the way, uh, now we're going to see what fits in this uh, Gigi Marmont uh, coin purse. So because of the uh, type of leather and lack of compartments, I do anticipate uh, being able to fit a lot more and stuffing in a lot more in this uh coin case compared to the Dionysus so let's see what fits in okay so this is the next scenario say you're going to a brunch rather than a, a girl's night out you're going on a girl's day out and you're going to a brunch and you're wearing a nice flowy white dress and you are deciding to take this mini coin case out and what would you need you'll probably need your cash, of course, if you are a cash person, uh, you'll probably need, again, your ID cards, you know, in case you do get car checked, <laughs> your driver's license, your credit card, whatever, that will go in there. And then, again, another perfume, you gotta smell good your mini lip gloss, make sure those lips are popping. Maybe you might be able to carry a mini tube of lotion. That will go in there. Then you got your coins. I'm trying to find some coins in here. Again, you might be taking a Metro depending on where you are at. Your girl gonna ask you for a a hair, a hair tie, so you gotta be prepared for that. A bobby pin, you never know if you have some hair flying somewhere and you need to pin it up. Uh, hand sanitizing wipes again. And let's see if this can fit. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can try to fit in more. Uh, what if you need to uh, carry your headphones? What if you're like on the train and you want to tune the world out as you're heading to the city, to your destination? Again, like it's nothing. And I'm just going to keep on stuffing <laughs> until it, it, it looks weird. Again, your pack of gum or your medicine. Um, let's see if we can add some more cards in here. Now it's starting to look ugly and junky. But it's really not disturbing the shape of the bag. Of course, this side is starting to protrude. Let me take some things out. Let me take out the headphones. Let's see if my keys can fit in here. If you have a key fob. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm loving this. I'm definitely loving this. As you can see, a lot more items can fit up in here compared to the more structured uh, Dionysus coin case. I would say this will bring the most versatility to your lifestyle. Let's see if you were to add like your, your charging case and your headphones up in here. And if you were trying to stuff it in, <laughs> Say if you're going on a quick little outing and you just want to carry some of your little essentials. 
I'm putting in cards, a hair tie, some cash, uh, lip gloss again, your gum or medicine, your keys, Try to see how putting in our AirPods will work. Look at how much space there is. Honestly, this is where I will be playing Tetris and trying to fit every little possible nook and cranny that I can. I'm just about to just stuff away. Put in my lotions and my lip gloss and my cash and perfume and hair tie and <laughs> the bobby pin is being magnetic. But anyways, coins and I'm just putting any and everything now. I doubt my keys will fit in here comfortably, but you never know. So, this is how everything is looking. Right now, let's see if, it could, if I can close it. This key fob. And because of the material and the type of leather used, I'm not really concerned about uh disturbing the shape of the bag but yeah everything fits everything fits it says coin purse if i wanted to uh detach this uh wristlet chain off and incorporate or attach a longer chain strap this will be a great uh mini bag and you guys, I promise you, it's not that hard to take the chain off. It's just because I'm trying to film <laughs> while doing it. It's making it a lot more difficult. This is how it looks without the uh, chain attached to it. It just looks like a mini pouch. And this is a cute SOG. Both of these are cute SOGs that you can put into your uh, bags. And because of its versatility, you really... You know, the sky's the limit. You can make this as a mini wallet, a mini handbag, whatever you want. Uh, really, the world is yours when it comes to these purses. And I, I love and appreciate it. And I'm just stuffing things in to just give y'all an idea. And I'm pretty sure you guys get the point at this point. I just personally like what's in my bag videos, so... <laughs> But this gives you a pretty good idea of uh, what you can fit in here, what type of items, and how you can incorporate it into your lifestyle. And again, this is how it looks <laughs> when you carry your more bulkier um, items. So much space. So I really hope this really in-depth uh, video gave you a great idea on how to incorporate uh, these two items into your lifestyle. I hope it also gave you a good idea of what fits and, you know, if you were trying to decide between these two, uh, which will be better suited for your lifestyle. Again, I personally recommend the Dionysus for like a night out where you're going on a cute little date and you don't intend on driving and you just need to carry the barest of bare minimal um, essentials. Or if you want to take off the chain, you can just make this as a, a wallet and, you know, diversify uh, the look of your handbag. I would say this Gigi Marmont uh, pouch gives a much greater versatility 
and your lifestyle. You can wear this either day or night, which I really appreciate it. Um, you can also remove the straps and turn this also into a mini wallet if you wanted to. I personally feel that it fits in way more items than the Dionysus and that is in part um, due to the the type of leather that is used and how malleable uh, the uh, leather is in comparison to a structured uh, pouch or case such as the Dionysus. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's videos. Let me know what you plan on getting if you decide to get either one of these pouches and let us know how you uh, incorporate it into your lifestyle. I would really appreciate it if you support my contents by liking and subscribing to this channel. Um, it's a growing channel and whatever I feel that you guys may benefit from, I'll do my best to uh, record it for you guys. Thank you. Have a nice one.